In this lesson, we will learn how to multiply expressions. We will begin by multiplying a monomial by a monomial. Here are some examples of this. Now, when multiplying monomials, the rule here is to multiply members of the same family. So, for example, we will multiply constants by other constants, x's by x's, y's by y's, and so on. Beginning with the first example, when we multiply the constants 3 and 7, we get 21, and when we multiply x by x, we get x squared. On to the next example. Here the product of 5 and 4 is 20, and the product of y cubed and y to the power of 4 is y to the power of 7. Please note that if you need extra help on the rules of exponents, you might want to go review some lessons on those rules. In the next example, we have a coefficient of 8 in one term, but the other term does not have a coefficient. In these instances, the coefficient is assumed to be 1, in which case 8 times 1 is equal to 8. Next, we will multiply k to the power of 5 by k to get k to the power of 6. In the next example, the product of 6 and 1 is 6. x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 6 is equal to x to the power of 10. And y cubed times y squared is equal to y to the power of 5. Finally, in the last example, the product of the coefficients here is 12. The product of a squared and a to the power of 5 is a to the power of 7. The product of b, b cubed, and b is b to the power of 5. And finally, the product of c cubed times no other c's is equal to c cubed. Next, we will examine the products of monomials and polynomials, such as those shown here. Now when we multiply a polynomial by a monomial, the rule is to multiply each term inside the parentheses by the term in front. So for example, we will take this 3 outside the parentheses and use it to multiply each term inside the parentheses. So to begin, 3 times 2x is 6x. Next, we will multiply 3 times positive 5. Now there is a reason why I want to refer to plus 5 as positive 5, and this will become evident as we examine other questions. For the time being, just recognize that 3 times positive 5 is positive 15, which we will write as plus 15. So 3 times 2x plus 5 is the same as 6x plus 15. This process of multiplying the terms inside parentheses by a term in front is called expanding. So in this question, we expanded 3 times 2x plus 5. Okay, now on to the next question. Here we'll take 7x and first multiply it by 4x squared to get 28x cubed. Then we'll multiply 7x by negative 6x to get negative 42x squared, which we will write as minus 42x squared. And finally, when we multiply 7x by positive 1, we get positive 7x, which we can write as plus 7x. Okay, one last example. First, we'll multiply negative 2x squared y by 3x cubed y to get negative 6x to the power of 5 y squared. And then we'll multiply negative 2x squared y by negative 9y to the power of 5 to get plus 18x squared y to the power of 6. Okay, now let's use what we have learned to simplify some expressions. Let's begin with this one. First, we'll expand the products here. So we'll multiply 3 and 2x to get 6x. And then we'll multiply 3 and positive 1 to get positive 3 or plus 3. Now we'll take positive 5 and multiply it by positive x to get positive or plus 5x. And finally, we'll multiply positive 5 by positive 4 to get positive or plus 20. At this point, we can simplify our expression by combining like terms. For example, we can add 6x and 5x to get 11x, and we can add 3 and 20 to get 23. Okay, next example. We'll begin by expanding. So we will multiply 7 by 2 to get 14, and then we'll multiply 7 by negative y to get negative or minus 7y. From here, we'll multiply negative 2y by y to get negative or minus 2y squared. 
and then we'll multiply negative 2y times negative 3 to get positive, or plus, 6y. From here we can simplify. Since we have no other constant terms to combine with 14, we will leave that as it is. Next we have negative 7y plus 6y, which equals negative 1y, or minus y. And finally, we have no other terms to combine with negative 2y squared, so we'll leave that as it is. Please note that we can take these terms and move them around to get negative 2y squared minus y plus 14. Okay, one last question. Now to begin, I want to rewrite this expression by adding this negative 1 here in front of the second set of parentheses to show that subtracting this expression is the same as multiplying it by negative 1. Now that we have done this, we can proceed as usual. First we'll multiply 3ab by 2b to get 6ab squared. Then we'll multiply 3ab times negative a to get negative or minus 3a squared b. From here, we'll multiply negative 1 by 3a squared b to get negative or minus 3a squared b. And finally, we'll multiply negative 1 by positive 6ab squared to get minus or negative 6ab squared. From here, we can simplify. First, we have these two like terms. So if we take 6ab squared and subtract 6ab squared, these two terms cancel out. Next we have negative 3a squared b, and from this we are subtracting 3a squared b. This simplifies to be negative 6a squared b. So now we're done. We have simplified the expression on the left hand side to be negative 6a squared b. Okay, to summarize. In this lesson, we learned that we can find the product of monomials by multiplying members of the same family. And we learn that we can find the product of a monomial and a polynomial by multiplying each term inside the parentheses by the term in front of the parentheses.